A city as old as 775 years has much to offer than just a vacation. Berlin, the capital city of Germany, is one of the busiest metropolises of today's time. The city invites thousands of tourists from all over the world to come and explore the most time-tested and vibrant culture in the history of human civilization. The seat of many political events that changed the fate of world history. The soil that gave birth of heroes of a match valor, of wars, of revolution, and much more. The divided city has a lot to tell to its visitors. Germany's capital city Berlin dates back to the 13th century. It has a long story to tell its visitors through its iconic architectural structures and places. There are many iconic places to visit in Berlin that brings to life each and every page of world history. There are countless places to explore and learn in Berlin. Here is a list of must-visit places which will make your journey a really memorable one. 1. Brandenburg Gate The Brandenburg Gate is Germany's and Europe's symbol of unity and peace. It was built in 1791 based on Athens Acropolis and is 26 meters tall with six columns and five walkways. It is one of the most famous monuments in Berlin. It used to be a dividing point between the West and the East. The gate has been a host to many major historical events, one of them being in 1987 when U.S. President Ronald Reagan addressed Gorbachev during the Cold War. Two years later, on December 22, 1989, the gate was open to the public and the West and East Berlin united. More than 100,000 people visited on that day, and as the number of visitors grew, the Brandenburg Gate became severely damaged. Because of that from the year 2000 to 2002, it was closed for renovations. Now, it is open and anyone can go and stroll through it. Besides its vast historical significance, the gate is also a famous New Year's Eve party landmark, where about 1 million people visit each year. 2. Reichstag Building The Reichstag is the seat of the German parliament and an historic landmark. A fire in 1933 and air raids during the Battle of Berlin in 1945 caused a great deal of damage. The Reichstag sits near the Brandenburg Gate and was not fully restored until after the deconstruction of the Berlin Wall and the German reunification. Some historical scars, such as graffiti left by Soviet soldiers, were left as a tribute to the building's difficult past. The original building was designed by several architects, and the mix of styles in the completed structure was somewhat controversial at the time but now is appreciated by thousands of visitors each year. The glass dome at the top of the building provides a magnificent view of the city and visitors must register in advance to enter it. 3. Museum Island Five museums comprise Museum Island, which is located between the Spree River and Kupfergraben. As with many of the structures in Berlin, the old museum buildings were nearly destroyed during the Second World War but are now open. The Alt Museum displays ancient Greek and Roman artifacts, while the Alt National Gallery houses the largest collection of 19th century paintings and sculptures in Germany. The News Museum houses prehistoric pieces and Egyptian art, including the bust of Queen Nefertiti. The Pergamon Museum contains another display of Greek and Babylonian antiquities. The Istergate and Pergamon Altar are here. Finally, the Bode Museum displays a large collection of sculptures, numismatic, coin collections, and a number of paintings. 4. Berlin Wall Memorial This site is more informative than other museums and will teach you all about the history of the Berlin Wall. This wall split the city in two and stretched 1.4 kilometers across the city. You'll be able to see the fortifications that once stood along this wall as well as the infamous Death Strip. This is an incredibly important historical site, so make sure you take the time to explore it Marvel at the Watchtower and Death Strip and learn more about the sites through the interactive displays that are dotted throughout the area. Just remember that not all of the displays are safe for children, so be careful if you bring them to this site. 5. Berlin's Television Tower Despite celebrating its 50th anniversary in 2020, the 368-meter tall Berlin Television Tower has lost none of its appeal to visitors to the city. Since opening in 1970, Europe's third tallest freestanding structure has attracted over 60 million visitors, most of them drawn for the spectacular views over Germany's capital. Originally constructed to mark the prowess of communism, it's located in the former East Berlin district. The landmark can be picked out from pretty much every corner of the city, making it more significant as a symbol of the city's reunification in the 1980s. Be sure to include the structure's observation deck in your visit, and if you're able to linger a while, book a reservation at the 207-meter-high revolving restaurant.
6. Checkpoint Charlie Checkpoint Charlie is another famous site from the Berlin attractions. Named after the third letter of the military alphabet, A for Alpha, B for Beta, and C for Charlie, the place used to be the border crossing between East and West Germany. The checkpoint was managed by the Allies during World War II, and in 1961, the US and the Soviet tanks had a confrontation. Checkpoint Charlie also served as a place where many tried to escape from East Berlin. It has stories and photographs today, those who failed, and those who succeeded the escapes. The site still has many of its original sandbags and signs, including the famous, you are entering the American sector sign in different languages. The sign was a marker of the border crossing and signified the division during the Cold War. Today, it remains a landmark that must be visited by those who are traveling through Berlin. The scenery has been featured in many spy movies, including James Bond. 7. Charlottenburg Palace and Park If you like touring palaces, then don't miss the Charlottenburg Palace. This is the largest palace in Germany, and it is found in Berlin's City West District. Charlottenburg Palace was constructed at the end of the 17th century, and the entire community of Charlottenburg grew around it. Built in the Baroque style, and boasting beautiful gardens and outdoor sculptures, the palace is now open to the public. You can tour stored rooms and see the extravagant, Rococo style in the apartments of Frederick the Great, and you can also see collections of porcelain, crown jewels, and royal silver. The entrance to Charlottenburg Park is absolutely free, and it is open until sunset. This is considered to be one of the best Berlin attractions, so make sure to visit it while you're there. If you want to enjoy some classical music and a Baroque atmosphere in Charlottenburg Palace, you can take this tour where you will listen to the Berliner Residence Orchestra. 8. Gendermann Markt This picturesque square is one of the most popular attractions in Berlin for tourists, and it's easy to see why. It plays host to a variety of public events throughout the year including classical concerts and the world-famous Christmas market in December. But even when there's nothing going on, the stately 17th century square still contains a number of important buildings and landmarks that are worth exploring. First, check out if there are any events in the square while you're in the city and make sure you attend. There's nothing like being part of everyday life in Berlin, and this is a great way to do it. If there's nothing on, spend some time in the square to explore the French and German cathedrals and the Concerthaus Theater. They're all architecturally amazing and you'll be able to get some great photos in front of them. 9. Memorial to the Murdered Jews of Europe A remarkable testament to the people of Germany and their commitment to never turn a blind eye to the atrocities of the past. The Memorial to the Murdered Jews of Europe, also known as the Holocaust Memorial, is another Berlin landmark that attracts tourists from all over the world. Sitting on the eastern side of Tiergarten, this collection of 2,711 concrete slabs covers 19,000 square meters of uneven ground. Below the sprawling memorial is an information center that houses the letters, diaries, and photographs of Holocaust victims. An audio guide is available in English. 10. Tiergarten and the Victory Column If you're looking for a great and cheap place to spend an afternoon, then this is the perfect place. Tiergarten is an enormous garden right in the middle of the city. It was once used by the Kaiser as hunting grounds and is now one of the largest urban gardens in Germany. This is the type of place where you can relax and do whatever you like to do in parks. Walk around and explore the sights. There's a victory column in the middle of the park, which commemorates a Prussian victory and an ornate palace at the garden's edge. If you don't feel like walking, just take some friends and a picnic and hang out. Enjoy the sun and relax. 